Hi everyone, welcome to one another video. In this video, we are going to see some of the frequently asked interview questions in denials. Before going to topic, if you feel this video is helpful, please hit like and please subscribe to get notified whenever we upload new videos. Let's start. First question. What is denials in medical billing? Actually, in interview, they won't ask you like directly what is denials. Instead of that, they will ask you like explain your process or how we are getting denials or in what are the ways denials may occur. For all these questions, you have to prepare this answer. I will explain the process. After completion of coding and billing part, each and every client will go to insurance company for payment. Simply insurance company will not pay. They have their own criteria for every dollar. If any client does not meet that criteria, insurance company will not do the payment. Here what happened? Insurance company denied the payment. This is called denials. Denials can occur for variety of reasons including incomplete or inaccurate documentation, coding errors, lack of medical necessity and failure to meet specific requirements outlined in the payers policy. Next question, what are the common types of denials in medical billing? First one, coding denial. This is one of the most common type of denials in medical billing. When the medical coder assigns the wrong code or incorrectly describes the service provider means this leads to denials. Next one, coverage denial. This occurs when the insurance company determines that the service is not covered under the patient's plan. Coverage denials can occur when the service is considered experimental or not medically necessary. Third one, timely filling denial. This occur when the medical claim is submitted after the payer's deadline for submission. Payers have strict deadlines for the submitting claims and failure to submit claims within the specified time frame can result in a denial. Next, duplicate denial. This occur when the same claim is submitted multiple times. Based on the name itself, we can understand when the same claim is submitted multiple times. Next one is eligibility denial. When the insurance company determines that the patient is not eligible for the coverage, they will deny the payment. This is called eligibility denials. In some cases, patient's coverage has elapsed or when the patient has not met the eligibility requirement means insurance company will not pay the payment. This is eligibility denials. Next question, mutually exclusive denials. Mutually exclusive procedures are two or more procedures that are usually not performed on the same patient on the same date of service. For an example, an open procedure and a closed procedure in the same anatomic site are not both reimbursed. If both codes we submitted means this will lead into mutually exclusive denial. Only the most clinically intense procedure will be allowed. Next one, modifiers. I have given payment modifier and information modifier separately. But you have to prepare all the modifiers. All the modifiers in your fingertips. They can ask any modifier. So be prepared on modifiers. You have to be ready with the explanation. What is the modifier indicates? You can surely expect the question from modifier. Next one, NCCI edit. National Correct Coding Initiative. This was implemented to promote national correct coding methodologies and to control improper coding leading to inappropriate payment. These edits are designed to promote correct coding and prevent improper payments by bundling component codes into the more inclusive code. This edits indicates that bundled or inclusive codes. In some cases, if the procedure is completely different means we can overwrite the edit with modifier. Next question, what is ABN? ABN advance beneficiary notice of non-coverage this indicates medicare may not cover an item or a service sometimes medical items and services are not covered by medicare plan when this happens 
patient will receive a notice called an advance beneficiary notice of non coverage this abn is sent by a doctor other pro healthcare professional or medical suppliers next question difference between rejected and denied claims this is one of the frequent question the difference between rejected and denied claim is that rejected claims occur before being received and processed by insurance companies denied claims have been received and processed by insurance companies rejected claims that rejection occurs in clearing house denied claims have been received and processed by insurance companies common abbreviations related to denials eob explanation of benefits pr patient responsibility nrp next responsible party abn advance beneficiary notice cbo contractual obligation these are some of the common abbreviations don't stick on this you must be prepared with all the abbreviations related to denials next question what is copay copay or copayment is basically a fixed proportional amount that the policy holder has to pay out of his own packet while making a claim under his or her health insurance plan this is called copayment the final question what is coinsurance coinsurance is the amount generally expressed as a fixed percentage an insured must pay toward a covered claim after the deductible is satisfied this is called coinsurance these are some of the frequently asked interview questions in denials take this as an example to prepare your interview i hope now you got better idea how the interview questions will be so start prepare and do well your interview if you like this video please hit like and please subscribe to get more videos thanks for watching till next video bye bye